Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Amy. This is the Opinion Woman, and welcome to my bedroom. I don't usually um, film sit down videos in my bedroom, but um, today I wanted to do something slightly different. I wanted to do like a little get ready with me autistic edition um, because I've got some filming to do and stuff like that. So I just basically wanted to have like a little chat and I wanted to put my makeup on at the same time. So if you've wanted to like get to know me a little better, um, have me chat a little bit more casually without uh, like books being involved and stuff like that, um, this is the right place for you to be. So let's get to it. I need to roll up my sleeves. It's, it's warm. The, the, um, the windows are closed. Uh, because if there's building going on, I'm doing this currently. I'm sorry. Forehead reveal. Oh, um, I've got to put my hair up so that I can do my makeup. So I was not a makeup girly in high school or anything like that. I was very much a oh, no, leg makeup and the leg and it goes um that kind of bullshit. And then my friends did my makeup and I felt pretty and I was like, okay, maybe. Um, but then I ended up going to four matric dancers. Four. God. Um, <laughs> and if you like, if you go to metric dances in South Africa, it's very common um, for people to be um, like, you'll go to like a makeup counter and then you'll have to like buy two or three products and they'll do your makeup for you. And um, so <laughs> actually, I'm just going to start. I'm going to chat while I do things. Um, I'm just going to do my brows. Um, this is the NYX Warm Neutrals palette. Got it ages ago during my major makeup phase. Um, and it's a it's a good go-to. Like I don't need to buy anything neutral anymore because I've got them all in here. Um, so I just dip into two. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Um, I dip into these two colors, not these two. Um oh no, can't use the camera. Can't use the camera, it's not gonna be good enough. <laughs> um so yeah, that's when I started getting my makeup done and literally um I <laughs> like for my matric dance I said to her like I want a smoky eye, which is like, you know, classic, it was 2008. Um I wanted a smoky eye and I told her, like I at the Mac counter, I told her, like, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Like, please don't go too heavy. That girl caked the makeup on my face so intense you could have shoveled it off. Like, I looked beautiful, but I looked ridiculous at the same time. Like, it was just, I asked her so specifically, and she was just like, I should have noticed that she had like a massive full beat on. But I mean, like, just because that's what her makeup is, doesn't mean that's what she's going to give me. But it was in the end. Um... <laughs> So I didn't wear makeup for a good long while besides like some mascara and um, and eyeliner like badly done black eyeshadow eyeliner because um, I was an emo so that's just my brows um, but I used to be part of this um, this like nude modeling website called Suicide Girls um, I was never official Suicide Girls, I was what you call a hopeful, but I shot like six sets for them. And I got my makeup done a bunch for that, which was really nice. But where I, okay, where, what step do I do now? What step do I do now? Eyeshadow. Um, so, but where I started actually wanting to do my makeup and stuff like that was getting onto beauty YouTube in like 2017 um, I was obsessed and I bought a bunch of stuff I bought this I bought a whole heap of different brushes um, I don't have a massive collection but I've got like a decent amount enough of stuff um, this is the most recent thing that I bought um, because I hit pan on one of my other palettes on my first palette that I've ever bought there's you <laughs> inception um, I want to use this color here so, yeah, YouTube uh, taught me, like, Jamie Page and Jessica Braun and Samantha Ravendahl and Samantha March, like, a bunch of different beauty, beauty ladies um, encouraged me and got me very obsessed with makeup for a little while. 
And then it sort of like petered off a little bit after that, like I got kind of bored of the beauty YouTubers. So I stopped watching them. Yo, this color is pigmented as fuck. Um, so I, yeah, I gradually stopped watching them, but I am very grateful for the, um, the skills that I got to, got to learn because I can do my makeup for my videos and it's not perfect, but it looks serviceable. And that's all we are looking for is serviceable. Like as long as I can film some TikToks and I can film a video, that's all I'm looking for. Um, today I'm filming um, the intro to a bullet journal video and I'm just going to film some TikToks because I had a backlog of TikToks for a while and now um, I've run out. Not run out. I've got I've got like a week's worth of content. I always do, but um, I've got some saved ideas and stuff like that that I can work on. And I want my makeup to be cute while I do it. Um, now I say this makeup is autism friendly because so much of those beauty people that I used to watch was. Um, like caking on crazy amounts of like base and stuff like that right and I did not know back in those days that I was autistic I only got my diagnosis in August of 2022 so I didn't realize like one of the one of the matric dances that I did I went to Estee Lauder like I don't use Estee Lauder anymore I only use cruelty <coughs> cruelty free makeup but they gave me their fucking double wear. And that shit is strong. Like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Who is this eyeshadow? It's strong. Um, and I didn't know why it felt so horrible to wear. And I realized it literally felt like my skin was suffocating and I didn't know that that is a sensory issue because I didn't know that I was autistic so <laughs> I didn't realize I was having sensory issues at the time um but yeah so I've I've adapted my makeup to do the things that I really enjoy doing on my face but I don't do base makeup um at all so like you saw I do brows um I used to use a brow pencil I can't use the pomades because again the sensory feeling it's yucky it's disgusting um so I don't do that <laughs> and then um I don't do concealer and I don't do bronzer or um contour anything like that I do do highlighter but like all of those things are like powders um so it's not too not too intense you know um nothing that's gonna make my skin feel like it's suffocating and dying which is what happens with um your regular sort of liquid foundations um and now that i realize that's a sensory issue i'm like oh cool you don't have to keep wondering like should i be doing that does it look weird without it i don't care i honestly don't care if people think it looks odd if I don't have foundation on it's what I can handle and I'm autistic and that matters you know so um that's what I stick to um I never used to do my brows and then when I was working with suicide girls I not working with them but when I was film uh, like shooting for them um I met this one she's like one of the most famous suicide girls around her name is radio it's not her real name, but that's her model name. Um, and she, no, it wasn't. It was a it was a shoot before then. It was a a girl who was also shooting for Suicide Girls, and she happened to be a makeup artist as well. And she um, did my brows. And when I was shooting with Radio, she was like who did your makeup there and I told her like the person wasn't there and she was like okay cool we're just gonna do the makeup like that because it looks really good on you and I was like okay sick B 
beautiful woman is telling me I'm just using eyeshadow um, as a bit of an eyeliner this is coming out looking nice and I, I wanted to match my little my little sons <laughs> um, so when so when she said that, like, obviously it was like this validation and I was like, okay, I need to start doing my brows. Oh, I don't want to cover this. Can you tell I'm not used to filming videos like this? <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? Um, so, yeah, I started doing my brows then and I realized, like, the ways that I could do it where it didn't feel suffocating or anything like that. And um, I really like the way it defines my face and I have, like, really prominent brows anyway so all I have to do is like fill in some gaps which is really nice um and then yeah YouTube taught me how to do eyeshadow and <laughs> liquid liner liquid liner is not an autism problem it's a skills issue I can't do liquid liner because I just can't get it fucking right <laughs> I just can't get it right and um like it just ends up messing up my makeup and yeah, maybe I'll try again one day, but I just use a pencil liner and I tight line it. This part is disgusting. I hate it. But this I also learned on YouTube and it really gives, because I've got big old eyeballs, you know? So it gives you like a really big bang for your back to like darken half like on the outer outer edge so I only darken from there out and I think it it gives my eyes such a beautiful shape it like really makes them stand out Ugh. so that's the makeup at the moment so all of that was okay eyeshadow I was finding is okay even liquid shadows as long as it dries and it's not um like really heavy duty liquid shadows are all right for me when it comes to my sensory issues but then the next step what would i do in the next step now <laughs> oh is um mascara so i see people doing their makeup they take it out beauty <laughs> they see this much mascara and they put it straight on i can't i can't it is so disgusting to me so i i used to use not the lash princess the other one the green one no it wasn't the green one oh yeah the volume lash extension volume something they basically discontinued my favorite mascara i was pissed um and it was much a much more of a dry texture like formula and so now i use i should be telling you I use the Essence Lash Princess um, in the Sculpted Volume formula and I scrape off as much product as possible so that my eyes don't stick together so my, my eyelashes don't stick together in big clumps because that feeling is so disgusting for me but if I get this right then you know I can do it with my autism and I can still wear mascara which is really nice so it's just about making like little baby accommodations for yourself um and working with what you can do like i can't also you'll see my my nails are bare i can't put on fingernail polish it feels like my nails are suffocating um a little bit on the bottom i never used to do this but it really does give you like a good dull eye kind of look um and i don't do too many coats of mascara either because that also ugh, give me the chrills, yes, yes. Um, so, yeah. Um, so what's been going on with me recently? So I decided, thank goodness for Canva. Um, my mom has a Canva account and I've been using it because I realized it's been years since I updated my CV and I looked at my CV recently it was embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. So I spent yesterday on Canva um, doing a rates and um, services sheet um, for my freelance clients. Um, I think that 
you know, like that's a very important thing to have. And like, uh, it makes it so easy when you use something like Canva. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna, and I went on a roll. So now I like, I've, I've sent out my first application with the new paperwork and everything like that. And I'm really excited about it. If you want to see anything like that, or if you ever need a freelance writer, um, the link is always in my description box to my website and it's got everything on there. Um, so I also don't have a separate highlighter. I use one that's in the palette because look at that. There's no point in buying a highlighter if I'm just going, if I've got the perfect shade here. So depending on what I'm doing with my eyes, I'll either go with a pinky tone or I go with a goldy tone like this. And today it's the gold. And then I do my little nose. I like my nose to be shiny. Cupid's boo. Cupid's boo. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I basically I've got this one incredible client. He is so great. And the way that he works is so, so professional. Um, where we work on click up and everything so um, everything's so set out and like well well run and I really appreciate it but at the moment Google has been doing a update on its algorithm so I've been a little bit shy like short on work which has been a little bit shitty um, I have been uh, doing a lot of YouTube work my nose highlight is very <laughs> very on point <laughs> so this is the only face product that i really do sometimes i just want a little cottage core pinky moment this is also this is um it's old as fuck the velvets from essence and it's got a little bit of a gloss to it so i quite quite like that um so yeah i i love this client that i have but i need more than just this one client and it's driving me crazy so I've been trying to work on social media stuff because if I could the amount of work I put into my social media if I could make money from it it would be so incredible um if you guys are ever wanting to support my channel just in like the tiniest little ways I've got like a little coffee link down below and I'm going to start reading out my coffees on my TikTok stories like giving shout outs and if you've got a message or like a small business that you want to promote or something like that I'll do that if you leave me a message with a coffee donation. It's like three dollars minimum. Um, so I'm I'm trying to be better at promoting stuff like that, even though like I get shy. Um, like if I could make money from social media, oh my god, it would be so good because it doesn't even need to be like a whole paycheck's worth. I love my writing at the same time. Um, but yeah, it would just be nice. But anyway, um, I'm gonna finish this look off with. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, yes I know it's very 2017 of me, in the colour Cape Town. I love this formula, but NYX is not in South Africa anymore. Um, and I love their London shade, so my mum bought me like four. And I got them in store. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh my gosh, I just, I just had a yap. I just had a yappy yap yap for a while. Ta-da! Okay, this came out pretty. <laughs> let's, let's do a thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> um, so my makeup is done. It is time for me to go do some filming. Uh, besides this, I'm just going to do my, uh, my bullet journal. And I'm going to do some TikToks. But I hope you like this chatty little video. Let me know if you want me to do something else like this again. Because I do my makeup for videos all the time. Like, it would be absolutely fine for me to film it every now and again. And then have a chat about certain topics. So if there's stuff that you want me to chat about, let me know. Um, the coffee link I talked about is down below. Along with my Instagram and my TikTok. We have a lot of fun over there. I'm very active on my TikTok stories. Um, and I post there every day. Um, but yes... Other than that, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff, and I'll check you next time.